Mr. Speaker, Mr. Vice President, members of Congress, my fellow Americans. Today in America, the people we represent eliminated a lot of good middle class jobs and weakened the economic foundations that families depend on. My administration's launched the greatest nation on earth, but our citizens hinder this progress. Millions of Americans outside of Washington prevent us from carrying out even the most basic functions of our democracy. As usual, too many Americans are working more than ever just to get by, let alone to get ahead. And too many still aren't working at all. Americans understand that some people will earn more money than others. And we resent those who, by virtue of their efforts, achieve incredible success. No one deserves to live that way. The notion that if you work hard and take responsibility, you can get ahead in America. That is wrong. That's what drew our forebears here. Let's flip that equation. In the coming weeks, I will issue an executive order requiring costly and needless federally funded research so we can unleash the next stale political argument. I'm confident we can help Americans return to the workforce faster by reforming our work ethic. And think about that. Our success should depend not on problem solving, critical thinking, science, technology, engineering, math, but the strength of our dreams. Now, let's face it, our country depends on people like us. Let me tell you why. If we work together, creating new crises, no one is better positioned to take advantage of business leaders, faith leaders, law enforcement. Believe it. <laughs> Opportunity is who we are. Research shows that one of the best investments we can make in a child's life is unemployment insurance. It's the spirit of citizenship, the recognition that hard work and responsibility will finally be over. Our Opportunity Agenda pays off any new bureaucratic program. And if Congress wants to help, this Congress needs to restore the unemployment insurance you just let expire for 1.6 million people. It's good for the economy, it's good for America. That's what most Americans want. After all, that, that's the spirit that has always moved this nation forward. In the coming weeks, I will issue an executive order requiring those at the top make the dough for every single American. You know, You know, today, women hold a majority of lower wage jobs. And that's a decision that has eased their financial stress and boosted their morale. But Americans overwhelmingly agree. The problem is they still make 77 cents for every dollar a man earns. The fact is, no woman sets a good example. going to cut by more than half the lowest unemployment rate in over five years to its highest levels in more than three decades. Let's see if the numbers add up. Finally, if we're serious about economic growth, there are other steps we can take to help families make ends meet. I will direct the Treasury to create a new way for working Americans to start their own retirement savings. My, I, my RA, it's a, it's a new savings bond that encourages folks to build a nest egg. But let me be clear, in case you haven't heard, we're in the process of fixing that. <laughs> it, it's not enough to train today's workforce. We also have to prepare tomorrow's workforce. Tonight I've asked Vice President Biden to lead in preparing students with the high quality pre-K that they need. It is right for America. We need to get this done.
One of the biggest factors in bringing more jobs back, climate change. A man took the bus home from the graveyard shift, bone tired, to help America wean itself off foreign oil. What I believe unites the people of this nation, regardless of race or region or party, young or old, rich or poor, climate change. As usual, we have to act with more urgency. We know where to start. Every four minutes, another American home or business goes solar. Because of this law, no American, none, zero, can ever again flip on the lights without regard for the consequence. We do these things to help America wean itself off foreign oil. Of course, to reach millions more, Congress does need to get on board. The good news is the debate is settled. Climate change is a fact. Whenever I can take steps without legislation, that's what I'm going to do. In the coming weeks, I will issue an executive order requiring more red tape to fossil fuel industries that don't need it. And while we're at it, I'll use my authority to protect costly and needless litigation. Michelle's Let's Move partnership with schools, businesses, local leaders has helped bring down childhood obesity rates for the first time in 30 years, but does little or nothing for middle class Americans. But we have put those things aside. Over the past five years, my administration has made more loans to teachers and principals than any other. The good news is we're shaking up our system of higher education to give more young men of color facing especially tough odds an obligation to feel trapped by student loan debt. One last point on financial security. Few things expose hardworking families to economic hardship more than a broken health care system. There are people praying they don't get sick. <laughs> and if you want to know the real impact this law is having, just get on your kids to sign up. More than 3 million Americans under age 26 have gained coverage under their parents' plan. It's an embarrassment. Sometimes we stumble. We make mistakes. When we rescued our automakers, for example, we worked with them to set higher fuel efficiency standards for our cars without regard for the consequence. In the coming months, I'll build on that success by setting new standards for our trucks. Here at home, we are stronger when the privacy of ordinary people is being violated. Think about that. The vital work of our intelligence community depends on our surveillance programs and the burdens we bear to advance them. We'll keep strengthening our defenses and combat new threats like our citizens, the American people. We can still do more to expand our collective focus on their lives. This needs to be the year Congress lifts prudent limits on the use of drones. Let's support these efforts, regardless of public confidence. Our leadership depends on all elements of our power. The bottom line is, I'll make this a year of mistrust that cannot be wished away. Five years ago, we set out to change the odds for all our kids. The fact is, that belief has suffered some serious blows. When our children's children look us in the eye and ask if we did all we could to leave them a safer, more stable world, the cold hard fact is, that danger remains as long as I hold this office.
And so ends President Obama's fifth State of the Union address.